Hey guys, and welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today is Tuesday, means we're using Plague Glitches U Bell. So this deck has been doing fine lately, just just fine. You know, no complaints from Plague Glitches U Bell lately. So, uh, you know, Stanzi, of course, you guys, of course, you guys know Stanzi. Hello, like, is it? I, you know, it's kind of hard to be. Wait, what's going on? Who's going first, me or you? I don't care. Who won paper rock scissors? Wasn't paying attention. Damn it! Oh, I guess you're choosing. Because if I was Susan, I would already click this first by now. Okay, you're going first. That's fine. So, of course, you know, Stanzi. You know, you can't be on... Really? Can you be on my channel and not know Stanzi? You know. I was... Okay. I don't remember, but okay. Uh, you know, I, I, this is a good question. Can, can you, hypothetically speaking, can you know of my channel? And not know Stanzi. I guess. I mean, if you're not into really the Yu-Gi-Oh scene, then you're here for the Let's Play, I guess. But if you're here for the Yu-Gi-Oh, you know Stanzi, of course. So, Stanzi just up and decided that it's time to start working on his, uh, on his channel again. You know, and he's, he's gonna commit to it. He's gonna, he's gonna upload a Yu-Gi-Oh video every day and a Let's Play video every day. So it's kind of, it's kind of like a smaller version of my channel, if you really think about it. I got to sit here and listen to his video, and he, and he was like, oh, I'm going to do this every day. I'm going to do this every day. And I'm just like, yeah, you mean like me. <laughs> no, good luck, Stanzi. Good luck. But, uh, uh playing Dragon Run Duels. Okay. You're just looking at my extra deck? Like, hello? Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. I get on here to record and then you kind of get on here and tell me your life story. Like, okay, okay, you know, I have a Facebook. I have a Facebook. You guys want to message me about shit? Facebook. This isn't the time. You know, the reason why I tell you guys that I'm, you know, went to Taiwan, you are used to. Now I just record whenever. I need to start doing that again. Actually, you know, setting the time to actually, um, Say, like, hey, I'm gonna be on at this time recording Black and Y, come and watch me, because so far I've not been doing that. Yeah, I'm noticing that. Eh, what you gonna do, right? Anyway, uh, how we going? So, and Stanzi, uh, Stanzi, you know, working hard on his channel, up and decided that he wants to uh, do a uh, doing Let's Play with me, you know, just like Striving Stanzi, except I think it's called Destroying with Daniel on his channel. So, he's thinking about um, doing a, you know, U Bell tag team deck. And the deck that he was thinking about picking up again was Zombie Evo, which hasn't been used in a while, you know, it was kind of there and it kind of fell off when we, you know, we kind of decided that, you know, Supervised Evo is more the key play because, of course, with Zombie Evo, you have to run, uh, let's see, the card is almost when your opponent controls the monster, you can special some monitor monster from your hand, okay. Okay. Guy looks so derpy, he's like, derp, I'm a pumpkin. Okay. What you gonna go into in the trivia? Are you gonna go into Barkeon? Yeah, you're gonna go into Barkeon. Oh, that sucks, but go ahead, go into Barkeon. Right? Yeah. Yep, Barkeon. Barkeon negates traps. The only trap I got is Call, which sucks, but that might have been really useful, but we should be okay for right now. Yeah. Yeah, no surprise there. Dude, stop looking at my fucking extra deck! Like, seriously! You think something in the trail, you get yourself in the trail, you main thing, you turn these cards so long. Oh, okay. Oh my god, what? We should take out Burning Abyss out of, out of Vimumit. Vimumit Y, got it. Ah, I'm planning on two. Oh my god, don't worry about it. I swear. Anyway, so, uh, with, uh, with, a uh, Plague, oh no, with, uh, with, a uh, with Zombie you Bell, it, of course, uh, so, I take a thousand, yeah, I take that extra thousand. Is that till the end phase? Yeah, till the end phase. Ah, oh, that sucks. Won't be using that anytime soon. Normal summon. Fact. I'm gonna have to take some damage to the chin, but 
I'm not just trying to stall out for right now. Yeah, seems about right. So go ahead and set this in my turn. So, uh, Zombie Bell really wasn't working because, you know, to utilize the strength of Yubel, you gotta have Zombie Wall. You know, instead of using Doom Shaman, you use uh, Illbud, and it was kind of like uh, Plaguelicious Yubel, or not Plaguelicious Yubel, it's kind of like Supervised Yubel, except with Illbud and, and stuff. So, we were working on that, and the, the more I was working on it, the more I realized that the only thing that's making the deck suck and making the deck hindered is, uh, is Yubel. Is you bell because you run you bell in there, you have to run the zombie world so you can do the whole play with you know uh, with uh, you know with uh, ill bud summon a zombie of course that being you bell because you bell would now be a zombie in the graveyard. Stroll of terror is gonna you know what that's not too terrible. Uh, no, it is terrible because uh, ah I want to summon dark greffer and pitch and then send play ah uh, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I don't want to do it, but I'm gonna do it because this will get me set up. But of course, that's another turn of him just attacking and killing my, uh, my thing and set my monsters instead of you, Bell. So you know, I just take it slow. Just drop plague. Just take the little slow. I'm cool. I'm okay. I'm cool as a cucumber. I'm not. I'm I'm, I'm completely panicked right now. Uh, this duel is not going the way I want to go, especially with Barkian on the field. So this isn't going too hot. What do you do? Okay, that's your target. Uh, hold on. Hold on. So, you activate call, target your turtle up. I'm going to chain. Space that. What the fuck does this do? Wow, okay. Didn't even know that was a card. Damn. Alright, well, he's gonna make our mateys. Wow, I'm getting fucked up, my Naturius. Wow, all right. Well, apparently he has the every answer to everything. Like, hello? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Like, look at this. Like, every single time I do something, he's just like, uh, answer? Answer, 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 answer? Like, damn. Yeah, that MST would have been so the tit if I would have just popped that. Hell yeah. Well, no, because that's something that, so never mind. But still, damn. He's just seriously locking me down. So what are you going to go into, Beast? Or are you going to go into Armides? You can go into a lot of different things, but I'm getting fucked up right now. Take 200. Take 600. Take 800. Take 2,500. Damn. All right, and then I lose 300 for the uh, fruit fly thing. Damn, I'm at 600 life points left. I got fucked up. You know what? I should have just turned you belt to attack mode. I could. I should have. That was my bad. That was totally my bad. I'm going to lose this duel because I fucked up. I should have just turned you belt to attack mode and rammed into him. But instead, I didn't. So. Yeah, unless I'm missing something, all face I'm not sure opponent controls the turn. Oh, for each Naturia. Oh, you got it then. I didn't know it was for each Naturia. I didn't know you were going to have all the answers. Shit. Shit. You saw that? He had everything. Like, perfect draw, perfect answer to everything. But hey, that's Yu Gi Oh for you. Sometimes people are lucky, like him. Sometimes people are unlucky, like me. Yeah. So, it's chill. Anyway, let me go ahead and finish what I was talking about. So, I was like. Yubel is what's hindering this deck. The deck should hypothetically work fine, okay. Of course, so uh one 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 seems fine to me. I mean it's not terrible as long as Dark Greffer's here to help me, but 
Hey, that's my opponent sets an ass butt ton of a back row, then that kind of sucks ass, but besides that, it's not too terrible. I'm a normal summon. Okay. Besides that, the hand's not too butt cheeks. Next. Discard Maui and send Plague. You know? Like, it's literally what, what the zombie deck was. And like I said, Yubel was hindering it. It was literally like taking the Plague Spreader and malicious aspect of this deck and then like a supervised aspect of Super Yubel and just like putting them together. Like, is literally what? You would run the Maui with the Plagues, then your Plague would be your level 2 tuner for the Ill Bud, then you would run, not only would you run. God, I don't want to go against fucking artifacts. I'm sitting here trying to have fun with you, Bell, and you go run fucking artifacts. Like, yay, artifacts. No wonder he ran so much back row. I was like, oh, I'm a child back row, no monsters? Like, damn. Like, never mind, I'm using artifacts. Like, haha. Yeah, that engine didn't get hit because Konami's a fucking idiot and didn't fucking hit that shit. I don't know why. I don't know why. I, I don't know. Uh, this is one time where the OCG was right and the TCG was wrong. It's not, it doesn't happen a lot, but that is clearly fucking evident right there. One, one, one. No, that's not one, but seriously. Like, really? Why do I keep drawing you bell? It always switches. Usually it's terror, but this time it's just you bell. Every hand, you know. Now I don't even have any Dark Greffer to keep track of this shit either. Wish I had Dark Greffer. This hand would be fine if I had Dark Greffer. Didn't I get Regeki last time too? Yeah, I did. I got Soul Charge too. Sounds about right. Sounds about right here on this number generator that we called the end. Now, so it ran Mali, it ran Plague, it ran the Ill Bud, it ran Dark Reffer, I'm a Getting Knight. Um, it ran the Swings, the Silent Dooms, the Supervised, of course, because it's just like Doom Shaman. But then it also ran another card that Supervised can't run, which is, of course, uh, one more revival card that Doom Shaman wish he had, which would be, of course, Book of Life. You can go Book of Life, summon Ill Bud, Ill Bud, summon Plague, Sink, Eight, just like, you know, you won't get to see the top card like you will with Tinker, but I mean, you know, Plague with Mally, you know, so much more versatile than uh, than what we currently have with Supervised Bell. But, uh, you know, because of Mubel, you would have to run the Zombie World, and it's just like, it's not really necessary, and then the deck was really full, you didn't have room, oh, so you get Gold Sark, all right, that makes sense. So I get Regaki and Mubel, you get Gold Sark, uh, what do you mean? Uh, now? Now did I draw Terror? No. I drew you Bell. Not Terror, you Bell. So, you know, so you, of course with you Bell, you gotta run the zombie world, turn you Bell into a zombie, and if you don't get the zombie world, then you can't go off with your plays, and, you know, and then the deck was so full that, you know, with the with the three forms of Yubels and the zombie worlds, you know, and Sanzi was not even willing to go with, uh, uh, I don't know, oh my god, no, right now. Didn't draw, oh my god, oh, draw, tear, I drew Yubel. All right, so you're gonna banish that and title effect to search for one. What is it? You can add one water dragon from your deck to your hand. Is he running more water dragons? Unless he did, he does. Or do you just want to banish title just for title's sake right now? Really? Really? Why are you bad? Really? You're gonna set the trap card and activate it the same fucking turn you set it. Really? Really? Why are you bad? Can, can Let's sit down and talk. Why are you bad? Do you not know the basic mechanics of Yu-Gi-Oh? <sighs> Read a rule book. 
you just cheated. Now I'm gonna try to explain what you fucking did, because you're so bad. You're so bad. I swear to God, I hate DN so much because it allows you to do anything. Like, it's just so hard to put fucking restrictors and blockers. I mean, fucking Dev Pro does it. How come you guys can't fucking do it? How come I can just fucking take a monster and fucking put it in my spell and trap code zone and put it in the pendulum zone and take the card and stick it up my ass because fucking DN doesn't have fucking restrictions like that? You're so bad. You're so fucking bad. One more duel. Swear to God. It pisses me off. When people just do stupid shit, and they and they're just fine with it, you know, they're just fine with it. I need cards. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? That how the fuck does you needing cards excuse you for cheating? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just I, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? I just drew like fucking five cards without activating anything that even will allow me to drop a card. I need cards. Hello? Fucking retarded. Fucking retarded. I swear. Ah, <sighs> this hand is fine. Sand is fun. You know, so, you know, because we were running, like, Ubel and we were running, um, the Zombie Worlds, we didn't even have room for, uh, even, uh, Mizuki. So, you know, in the end, I just, you know, I made the deck without Ubel. I was like, this deck is much better without Ubel. Like, immensely better. Like, and it sucks, too. Because, you know, I want Zombie Ubel to work, but if it, it, it's just hindering. It's it's another one of those decks where you bell it's even worse than this deck and it's even worse than Super when it comes to you bell being in there. Like you bell is totally in the way. Like running unnecessary unnecessary shit. Okay, so you gain sixteen. Okay. Like eighteen. <coughs> oh yeah, plus uh, thirty six. So I take an additional two hundred. No, two hundred more. Thirty six, two hundred more. I forgot about that effect. All right. Uh, melee effect. Let's get started. Let's actually do some fucking plaguelicious plays before we fucking end this video. You know? So pretty much that's that's exactly what that is. It would be it was Plague Glish Plague Bell and Supervised Bell combined, but U Bell was in the way. But oh, you know, so yeah. Beals. Uh is there anything that I don't want right now? Oh uh, I'm getting nights okay, I guess. I'll keep the plague spreader up with the Armageddon Knight on top. Do I need the Armageddon Knight right now? Not right now, right now. Do I want it later is the question. Do I want to draw it next turn? I could be drawing something else now. I'll draw something else. It's a good question, Daniel. It's a good question. Right, something new. Ah, uh, that play could have been a lot different. Well, I could always Phantom Spring back the Mally and then summon the play, so that's cool. It's still cool. Ah, <sighs> Scrap Effect, Target, Bills, and, uh, Tiger. So, free pop. Free pop! Free pop! It's like free cake, so that's just as good. Mm-hmm. Crystal Beast. Okay. So he's probably gonna activate something to summon something, summon the Crystal Beast back and fucking pop it in the face with this MST. <coughs> Go. Go ahead. Activate something to summon back Carvacle. Oh, pot. Oh. Whew, that's even better. 
cool. You do not know how much of a relief it is for you to actually pot. Like, shit. I mean, that, shit. I pretty much just said, go ahead and win, Daniel. Like, hello? How are you going to beat a Beals and a Scrap Dragon without special summoning? That's really difficult without special summoning. Even even throwing a Regeki at me, I'll still just fuck you up. Yeah, that's GG. Let's game. Game. Just get wrecked. Get wrecked. No, I thought you were going to activate something like uh, one of the Crispies that summons it from the Storm Truck. I thought you were going to summon Carbuncle and the Carbuncle is going to try to go. And as soon as you would activate that card and target the Carbuncle sound, I was like, MST or Carbuncle. I'm like, no. So that would have been game anyway, unless he had something else. But anyway. Yeah. So. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, we could put Zombie U Bell on here, but like I said, it would be just it would be just like Plague Lurchus and Supervise combined with U Bell hindering it because I wouldn't be able to do my U Bell plays like I do with Supervise, which is just, you know, uh you know, summon Doom Shaman, Doom Shaman, Summon U Bell do that with Ilba unless I have Zombie World. So that means I gotta run Zombie World, which just hinders the deck and just makes it unnecessary because no other card in the deck needs Zombie World except for U Bell. So what's the point of running committing to the Zombie World for U Bell? It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. It should be just its own deck. So I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. So so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Vitamin Y. So uh of course like I said, we're take we're planning on taking off Burning Abyss U Bell. So I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm thinking maybe, since I'm starting to get big enough to do this, maybe uh, uh, just doing the deck profile of the Burning Abyss Bell, taking it off, and um, and tell, and then maybe doing like a little competition where you know people make different E Bell decks, and then whatever one uh, is the best wins, and that will be the one on here, and then they'll win some kind of prize. I don't know. At this current moment, I don't know what's a decent prize right now, but win some kind of prize, and. Uh, then, uh, for the time being, while, uh, Burning Abyss Hubel is on, uh, gone and we're in this limbo between having that other deck, uh, maybe just doing, like, another episode of, uh, Super Bad Hubel, because, you know, more practice and dueling with that deck is fine, you know, testing the consistency is great and all, because, you know, I'm planning on making that deck again in real life. Well, I have it, I just need to put it back together, so, yeah. Alright, so, uh, tell me what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode, so thanks for watching, thanks for all support, thanks for everything, really. And I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, U-Bucks Thanks for watching.